<laughs> thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, let me do this quickly. Uh, first of all, thank you for the, holding the hearing. But Dr. Milani and Dr. Bailey, you, you hold s similar sentiments, but your conclusions are, are quite different. Uh, Dr. Milani, you drew a loose parallel between the Iranian Revolution, liberation theology, and you concluded by suggesting that the Iranian presence in the hemisphere is a nuisance. Uh, Dr. Bailey, you suggested prior to this later surge of interest in the hemisphere by Iran, uh, there was no cultural, political, historic tie, so that, in your view, this rises to a very serious level of national security concern. These panels are helpful in that you get a spectrum of perspectives, but clearly there's some incompatibility here in the conclusions. So I'd like you to further unpack your conclusions, please. Well, I think you need to... Uh... <clears throat> Uh, put the, uh, uh, the relationship in, in a sort of comparative perspective. When you talk about grave national security, what can Iran actually do to the U.S. by its relationship in uh, uh, Venezuela? You have, to have, you have to look at the actual numbers, in, economically speaking, in terms of military exchanges, and other areas. The only area that I do not know, and I'm not going to make any judgment about, is, of course, the case of terrorism. Uh, but if you look at the, uh, all of the interactions and activities between Iran and, and Venezuela, uh, it's not very different than what Iran is doing with a lot of other countries. Now, that does not mean is not, Iran is not a threat just because it has the same kind of relationship with others. But compare what Iran, for example, is doing in Lebanon what Iran is doing in Afghanistan and Iraq with what Iran is actually doing in uh, uh, Venezuela and ask yourself, what is the national interest of Iran in Venezuela? There really aren't much. That is why I think there is a great deal of sensationalization about this whole business. Okay, and that's why I said you need to watch it carefully. It has the potential to become a serious one, but not yet. Thank you. Dr. Bailey, you care to respond? Yes, I mean, uh, the fact that, as uh, Doug said, um, terrorists can come and go, Iranians and others, freely in these countries, uh, the financing of terrorist organizations, the involvement in drug trafficking, the capacity, for example, if the United States were to attack Iran, or for that matter, if Israel were to, to attack Iran, of damaging the oil facilities in Venezuela and blocking the Panama Canal, to my mind, represents a, an important national security threat to the United States. Let me call uh, quickly on uh, Mr. McCall. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll be brief because I have to. Um, the, um, I, I want to follow up on this uh, potential terrorist threat. The, uh, the alliance between Iran and Venezuela has been highlighted very well. I, I'm concerned.